First at six, it is a day that is a dark moment in Charlotte's history. April 29th, the day of the Shannon Park shooting in East Charlotte that left four law enforcement officers dead and five others injured. Well, now there are new details out in a report from the Mecklenburg County DA's office, which addresses many lingering questions, questions about a second shooter and questions on that harrowing moments when officers were shot trying to save their own. Queen City News anchor Derek Dellinger joining us here in the studio. Derek, you're looking through the report. You found a lot of details in there. Yeah, the details included everything from reports of a second shooter to the timeline on how the whole shooting played out. The details here are incredibly specific and are part of a 26 page report from the DA who said the shooting was justified. It's a day that many are still coming to terms with many seeking answers for. What happened along Galway Drive back on April 29th was, by all accounts, a tragedy. But the new details of it show not only how tragic it was, but also some of the lingering questions which are still out there. The details come out of a report from Mecklenburg County DA Spencer Merriweather addressed to CMPD Chief Johnny Jennings. The report details what members of a U.S. Marshals Task Force made up of various local and federal law enforcement agencies were doing on Galway Drive that day, looking for Terry Hughes Jr. The report says Hughes noticed the task force, went inside his home, and as authorities were surrounding the home and ordering him out, he started firing. South fire, south fire. Command, he's shooting at us again. Among the first hit were two people who later died, Deputy U.S. Marshal Thomas Weeks and Task Force Officer Alden Elliott. Do we take cover? Officer Joshua Iyer and Task Force Officer Sam Poloche were hit in another round of gunfire while trying to tend to Weeks. Weeks, Elliott, Iyer, and Poloche all died with five other officers injured. The report also says Hughes, after all this, jumped from a second story window with his rifle and was ordered to drop his firearm before he was ultimately shot by officers. The report also talks about the initial reporting and theories surrounding a second shooter, saying body cam video confirmed an officer thought they saw something in an upstairs window and that led to more gunshots, but nothing was actually there. The report also addresses the involvement of Hughes's girlfriend and her 17 year old daughter. They were in the home and reportedly in a closet the entire time this was happening, with officers apparently not realizing the two were inside the home until the mother called 911. The details here do not entirely change what happened, but they do give a better picture of what many, even to this day, are still wanting answers for. Only a tragedy that's going to impact, I would say, our country for a very long time. It's a scar on Charlotte, but a scar that won't heal. Now, the report says all of this detail came from interviews done with other officers, as well as a review of body cam footage. The DA saying in the letter today to uh, Chief Johnny Jennings that not only was the shooting justified, but that things would have been worse if law enforcement had not acted the way they did that day. Alicia.